In 2023, China poured $380 billion into solar. That's more than a billion dollars every day, while U.S. federal grants hit around $100 billion. And total U.S. clean energy investment amounted to roughly $236 billion. This policy gap could widen that investment disparity. For homeowners, here's what all this means for you. The federal tax credits that covered 30% of solar installation costs, they're being terminated now, not phased out over years as previously planned. If you had solar projects approved before this order, existing contracts should be honored. But new applications? The 30% federal credit is gone. This represents an immediate $6,000 to $15,000 increase in upfront costs for typical home installations, but impact varies significantly by state. California, New York, and Massachusetts have robust state incentives that continue regardless of federal policy. Texas, Florida, and others rely more heavily on federal programs. The economics still work in most markets. Even without incentives, solar typically pays for itself within eight to 12 years, then provides free electricity for another 15 plus years. That math doesn't change with policy. Let's zoom out. This policy won't kill solar. It might delay it, but you don't have to wait. Solar tech is accelerating faster than Washington can legislate. Solar panel efficiency has steadily climbed from around 15% a decade ago to 19 to 22% today while costs continue dropping about 20% every time global capacity doubles. Battery storage is following the same curve. These trends don't stop for policy changes. If you've been considering solar, this creates a unique window. Lock in current incentives, beat the policy uncertainty, and secure your energy independence while the opportunity exists.